Wajumula mogo, sawa! In an effort to tackle the escalating security situation in Kase 7 Dibujo districts, the Army and the police have agreed to scale down their security operations in the hunt for the perpetrators of the recent crashes. Addressing the media in Kampala, head of the government peace mission on the Renzo crisis, Captain Mike Mukura said, is not in a position to divide the details of the operations put on hold for the meantime. Our recent engagement, we have agreed that the police and Omusinga scale down in order to de-escalate the problem. So there are certain operations which have been suspended in order to ensure that we give peace a chance. I cannot go into the details. Security agencies blame the Royal Guards for the recent killings of two UPDF soldiers outside the Renzuru Kingdom Place in Kasese Town. But Mkula says investigations are going on to find out who killed the UPDF officers. Mkula says part of his recommendation to the President is a review to the recruitment of the King's Royal Guards. On both sides, they are more like a militia now. And definitely, we will have to find a solution in the guidelines to it, in the negotiations to see that this will not part, be part of the, of the arrangements again. He says in the recent meeting held with King Charles Mumbere, the king agreed to scale down his royal guards to allow police and the army take over his security. The king is prepared to cooperate and work with the police. Even he is prepared to scale down the number of um, <clears throat> royal guard around the palace and allow either the police or the army to guard him. Mkula also says the king distanced himself from the claim that he was behind the push for the secession to form Nyira Republic to comprise the Bakonjo in Uganda and other in the Diara Congo. The king has said, King Charles Wesley Mumbere, that he is not part of it. It was there before, but he will not perpetuate it. According to Mukula, who says he is also working with the senior presidential advisor on defense, General Sari Musare, government has been asked to establish an independent commission of inquiry into the Kasese Bundibujo crashes. Government must establish a permanent, must establish a commission of inquiry. Mukula believes that if the crisis is not resolved quickly, the situation could deteriorate into a genocide. Lives have been lost and mass graves have been discovered. Schools have been raised, many houses and property have been destroyed. As I talk now, there are people in camps. He claims that a number of people have been seen moving with machetes and other dangerous rudimentary weapons in Ikasese. Every homestead has almost got a panga. This is like uh, what was in Rwanda. When you see young people, I'm told, walking in the street, they have pangas and they have removed their shirts. So you see somebody with a panga, there is a panga inside, but if there is any spark, you can imagine what will happen, the kind of carnage that will take place in the area. Mukula also announced that there will be an ecumenical peace prayer involving Renzuru King Charles Wesley Mumbere, the Bamba King Martin Ikamia, other stakeholders and the general public this weekend in the Kasese town. Jingo Francis, NTV.